This is the Nissan Navara N Warrior. It's a slightly souped up version of the regular Navara. Does it offer enough to justify the extra cost? Let's find out. This is the Navara N Warrior. It's a modified version of the Nissan Navara. Unlike the Navara Warrior X, which I previewed a couple of months ago, the N Warrior is actually going to go into production. It is not as heavily modified as the Warrior X, but the modifications are noticeable enough. First off, you'll get a lot of orange accents around the vehicle. You have orange accents on the fog lamps, on the step boards, and then on the skid plate. There is no shortage of badging. There are N Warrior decals on the sides of the vehicle. And then at the back, you have embossed N Warrior badging. And then there's also one on the roll bar. Almost all of the chrome parts on the Navara have been blacked out. The grille is now painted in gloss black. Also, the door openers and the side mirrors. It has black moldings around the headlamps and the tail lamps. It has this bull bar like plastic molding on the bumper. The most significant upgrades are the wheel and tire combo and the steel roll bar. It has 18 inch wheels wrapped in 255 60 series tires. The wheels are a six spoke design and they're painted in gloss black. They're a lot more aggressive looking than the stock wheels and tires. The roll bar is made out of steel and it has N Warrior badging. The Navara N Warrior offers no mechanical upgrades to the regular Navara. It's basically just a visual upgrade package. The engine, the transmission, and the suspension are all the same as the regular Navara. The interior is a bit disappointing. The leather seats with orange stitching look good, but everything else looks basic. The steering wheel is bare plastic and it doesn't have audio controls. The head unit is pretty basic to say the least. Needless to say, it doesn't have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The silver accents on the Navara have been replaced by these faux carbon fiber accents. It will have air convents for the second row passengers. And it will also get the Navara's unorthodox floor mounted cup holders. There will be no center armrest though for the second row. Apparently, both the EL and the VL variants of the Navara will get the N Warrior treatment. So there will be four variants of the N Warrior. This one is the EL automatic, and that explains the basic interior. The VL variant will get the same luxuries that you get on the regular VL, like 360 vision and Nissan's intelligent mobility system. It will get a leather wrapped steering wheel with audio controls and it will be 4x4. The Navara and Warrior EL will be powered by the same 2.5 liter engine 
that powers the regular 4x2EL. It produces 163 horsepower and 403 Nm meters of torque. The VL produces more power. It produces 190 horsepower and 450 Nm meters of torque. The engine will be coupled to a 7-speed automatic. There's also a 6-speed manual option. Okay, like I said previously, there are no suspension, engine, or transmission upgrades for, for the N-Warrior. So the N-Warrior is basically just a visual upgrade package for the Navara. The orange accents, I think, are a love it or hate it deal. But the 6-spoke 18-inch wheels, the steel roll bar, the steel skid plate, make it a pretty attractive package. And they're also quite functional. If you factor in the leather seats with orange stitching, I think the 50k price difference between the regular EL and the N Warrior EL becomes pretty reasonable. One gripe is that since they already covered the seats in leather, I wish they went the extra mile by having the steering wheel covered in leather as well. The stereo is less than ideal, but it's standard sized, so it should be easy to upgrade later on. The price difference between the N Warrior EL and the regular EL is about 50,000 pesos, which I think is a pretty good deal. The price difference, though, between the N Warrior VL and the regular VL 4x4 is a whopping 170,000. And I don't see how you can justify that price difference without mechanical upgrades to the vehicle. Anyway, I'll be reviewing the Navara 4x4 VL soon, so subscribe and watch out for that.